According to some philosophers like Noam Chomsky, we will never have truly self-aware AI. However, with the Human Brain Project and the mapping of the human connectome, along with IBM's digital neuron, I would disagree. However, I would agree that self-aware AI on the computers we use right now would be terribly inefficient and pointless, especially using this simple binary system. The holy grail of the human brain mapping will be to transfer one's mind directly into a robotic body and thanks to nanomaterials will be completely indistinguishable from a human's body, creating virtual immortality. This raises, of course, confusing philosophical and ethical questions of am I still really me? Is this duplicate me as well if we both lived at the same time? And will it have the same rights as me? Using open-minded logic, overcoming these should be easy, but only when the tech becomes a reality. These uploaded minds to machines may allow for long distance space travel and research, and your mind will turn on again and go explore planets once a ship has traveled light years. Of course, the question is, will we ever have C-3PO and R2-D2 levels of intelligence? Will machines get smarter than us? Yes and no. Human minds will probably have extremely strict ethical standards in copying and messing around with, especially for human entertainment and service. Computers will probably never get smarter than humans because we will probably continue to upgrade the human brain as we move further and further past the singularity to ensure that they never meet. This will of course raise its own ethical issues of mind control, income inequality creating mental inequality, and so on. But that's always the case for new tech. The human mind will probably be off limits for in-computer duplication and manipulation without express consent. However, animal minds probably will not be. We will probably mix and match elements of intelligent animal minds with some modifications to ensure humane existence. A C-3PO or R2 droid will have to follow Asimov's three rules. There will have to be three more rules, however, to ensure that these rules work and ensure a good and ethical existence for these animal minds in robot bodies. 1. The sensation of boredom will not exist. In humans, boredom is linked with a feeling of disgust, and recent studies show that the average person would rather inflict pain than feel bored. This, however, is great and essential to being a human. Without boredom, our minds would not wonder and question one's existence or happiness. We wouldn't dabble, tinker, or make experiments. We wouldn't fidget, and therefore learning new skills and ways of thinking. Without boredom, an existence of these would be akin to a contented Buddhist monk, happy in the task at hand. Any skill needed will be extracted from a shared cloud database, so constant experimentation won't be necessary, eliminating the need for boredom. 2. The robot will not be able to suffer. It may be able to feel pain, but the human body goes overboard in pain like a fire alarm. Pain is needed to prevent injury, but if nothing can be done to fix the pain or stop it, it becomes suffering. People are really cruel and creative in how to inflict suffering, so lots of ethical standards will be needed to wire these bots so that no matter the damage done to them, they won't suffer emotionally or psychologically. 3. They will get their digital dopamine from serving and pleasing. This may seem cruel, but for non-alpha dogs, this is their entire purpose for living. They will get their pack status assigned at purchase with their new owner as the alpha dog. All humans and possibly living creatures of certain levels are higher in terms of being unable to cause harm, but the owner is the only one they will actively obey unless the owner gives commands to obey another. This will ensure Asimov's rules are kept. This being will be able to have an intellectual conversation and problem solve, but be always content, never suffering, and always loyal. Think of a Buddhist monk version of Mr. Peabody, but who views you as the alpha dog and never gets bored or suffers. There may be simulations of boredom to help relate to humans, but these will only be simulations. These will someday, most likely, be our companions in the future. Man's best friend will get an upgrade, as we do, eliminating tedious labor for us so we can do, hopefully, greater things. Or we could use them to become lazy slobs, going nowhere in existence. Either way, that is probably the real future of AI.